the thing that you like to see with tight ends is the ability to be in the running game, in the passing game, and also seeing these guys grow from game to game. And that's exactly what the tight ends have done this year. Take a look. All right, let's go ahead and look at these tight ends. I really like Kern. He's a big body. He gets in the running game. You can see right here him setting this block up to let Rakeem Boyd run in. Now, the thing about him, his blocking and his route running and receptions all kind of tie into each other. You saw that one right there. Then you uh, go to that Georgia game. They do the same kind of movement with him, but he fakes the block, gets around that defensive end, slips out of the backfield for an easy throw and catch, and he picks up a first down. That's a big body coming out. Another thing with him, you have to respect him so much, even when he runs away from the play he draws the defense away you can see in that play right there um, he gets the attention of that linebacker another one right here he just kind of creates a flow in the secondary that allows the running back to kind of not have to worry about some guys in the secondary now this one right here this was a tempo play I don't know if it's necessarily his speed but he had a double move catches the ball on the goal line much respect to my guy right here now this is what I love to see. Hudson Henry, boom, shot right there in the stomach, gets the wind knocked out of him. You know what he's thinking right now? Man, I should have played basketball. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? That's that's some good stuff for a young tight end to go through to take hits like this and contemplate even playing college football anymore. And the reason I say that is because if you fast forward to Texas A&M, a very similar play concept, boom, shot right in the ribs. He holds on to the ball this time, and he gets up. Another one right here in the same game, third and nine. He takes a shot right in the head, catches the ball, gets up with a little swag. Look at that. Boom, he saw the flag come out first down. Very impressive to see the growth of Hudson Henry so fast just in one season. You know, a lot of people think it's Hunter that he's learning this from. He has another brother on that field that's very scrappy named Hayden. I think he's learning a lot from him as well. Yeah, I love what these guys are doing. Kern kind of reminds me of a little bit bigger uh, A.J. Derby. You know, he's not going to be fancy. You know, he's going to be a dependable player, physical, scrappy. Then you have Hudson Mike, who uh, he's just grown. I think the knock earlier is, is he physical enough to play at this level? And it's really starting to show. Yeah, one's like 270, 280. The other's 250. Mm -hmm. But he's getting bigger. Uh, I like the way he's progressed. I like the way they kind of play off of each other. You got a, it's complete opposites. A red shirt, fifth-year senior. Yeah. You know, red shirt freshmen, yet they're the ones that are out there doing things. And this used to be tight end you. What the heck happened? Yeah, we're coming. And we started the season, like, who's going to be the tight ends? They moved a freshman defensive end over there for a yep. while just, to, just because they thought they'd have problems. But it's starting to develop a little bit. Yep. And the thing about, here's the thing about Henry. He comes from that Henry family. And mm -hmm. I covered his dad here as an offensive line. He was a scrapper. Yeah. He was they a scrapper. They got it in him. It's in he that get, blood. He'd get pr fights in practice. Yeah. So, you know. He's yeah. a competitor. It's, All Henrys are competitive. Yeah, it's definitely in that blood, uh, blood, and it's going to be very cool to see that continue to develop and grow. Big things coming from that Hudson or Hudson family, that Henry family as well. But Kern, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man. I like that. All right.